Professor Pinty here. These tulips were absolutely beautiful. They had their time and I loved, this was my first time to, to grow them. And uh, I absolutely loved them. Different textures, uh, colors, varieties, they were showstopper. Now what to do when they finish with the flowers? Uh, what can you do? Before we get to that point, how about you have a quick look how these uh, beautiful flowers were looking at their peak time. Now if you want these tulips for the next year, the first thing you need to make sure that if the variety you have can give you the flower next year or not. If you check your supplier, you can get this information because not all the varieties can, can give you the flower in the coming year. There are a couple of things you have to do. First thing you have to understand the how the tulip plant is and what exactly you need to, to make sure that you have a you have a high chance of getting a flower. So the tulip have four parts. On the top, you can see the seed part, which contain the seeds of the tulip. And then you have a stem and then you have a leaves. And underneath in the soil, you have a tulip bulb. Uh, so if you want uh, your tulips to come next year, you need to, uh, you need to save the, the tulip bulbs. Uh, you can grow tulips from the seeds as well, but it's going to take a while. And my right, you know, it may take years before you can get a flower from the tulip seeds. So it's a quite a slow process. So what you really need to do is to make sure that the, the plant energy is not going into to produce the, the seeds. So that's why we need to cut the seed parts. And the best way to do is, if you look here, that this stem, if you see the first, first leaf here uh, from the top, just cut it from this point, uh, and this will disconnect the seed part and this extra stem. And then all you will left with the, with the, with the leaves. Now the leaves are very important because they will take energy from from sun and then give it to the, the bulb. This will allow bulb to get stronger and the healthier as well. Now at this stage, <coughs> I would suggest uh, not to dig these bulbs out. So let the leaves die out when they are brown. Uh, then you can dig the tulip bulbs out and then clean them up and then store them in a, in a cool dry place. All right, as you can see, the mission is accomplished. So all the seed spots are now in my hand and hopefully uh, once these leaves are die out then I can take the bulbs out and can store them for next year. I hope you like it. One other thing when you try to cut the stems, always cut them in an in a angle so that the water can easily go down. I hope you like it. Let me know in your comments if you need any information regarding this process.